Hi, I'm Marcy Gonzalez, and this is The Rundown. Two teenagers overdosed on drugs at Bernstein High School in Hollywood. Investigators say one of them died. Police say they may have gotten the drugs from someone at Lexington Park nearby, where two others had become sick after taking Percocets. Stay with us on air and online for updates. Crews in the IE have been working around the clock to clean up a massive mudslide. Heavy rain triggered the dangerous mudslides. Homes were damaged and a steakhouse was also forced to close in Yucaipa. All the mud broke loose from the El Dorado fire burn scar. And LA County leaders are about to begin a sweeping outreach campaign over the eviction moratorium. It's aimed at preparing renters and landlords for what will happen once it ends. The tenant protections were put in place during the pandemic. They're set to expire at the end of the year. And now here's meteorologist Amber Lee with a check of your forecast. All right, so we are slowly drying out from what used to be Tropical Storm K that brought us some rain and also that humidity. And now it's going to start to feel a little bit back to normal. That means cooler temperatures just in time. Fall officially begins eight days from now, 47 days until Halloween, 53 days until we uh, fall back. And that means the end of daylight savings. So if you put, have you haven't washed your car yet, you can do so. We're not looking at any more of that moisture sticking around at least through the weekend. But there is a chance that we could start to see some showers moving in, possibly Sunday or maybe into the middle of next week. That's something that we're going to continue to watch. Computer models can't quite agree just yet. But you take a look at our precipitation outlook. We're definitely looking at below average chances here in the Southland. But again, there is a chance to see just a little bit of that moisture moving in by next week. All right, and remember, we are always streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. You can watch anytime on our free CBS News app and Pluto TV. I'm Marcy Gonzalez.